Have you ever picked up your phone after watching a few videos or playing a game and thought, wow, this thing feels warm or sometimes even hot? It's one of those modern annoyances we've all experienced. Your phone is supposed to be a sleek piece of glass and metal, not a pocket-sized heater. And yet here it is, warming your palm like it's alive. The question is, why does this happen? Is it dangerous? And should we be worried every time our phone heats up? Today, we will answer that, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand why phones get hot, it helps to remember one simple fact. Your smartphone is basically a tiny computer. Inside that slim body are powerful components working non-stop, processing data, sending signals, lighting up pixels, and managing energy. Just like laptops or gaming consoles, phones generate heat when they work hard. The difference is that phones have far less space to manage that heat. At the heart of your phone is the processor, often called the CPU, or system on a chip. This tiny piece of silicon is responsible for almost everything your phone does, from opening apps to playing videos to running games. Every time the processor performs calculations, electrical energy flows through it. And whenever electricity moves through a circuit, some of that energy is lost as heat. It's basic physics. The more work the processor does, the more heat it produces. This is why your phone tends to heat up during demanding tasks. Playing graphically intense games, recording high-resolution videos, editing photos, or even multitasking with several apps running at once all push the processor to work harder. Your phone isn't malfunctioning. It's just doing exactly what you asked it to do at full speed. Another major contributor to phone heating is the battery. Most smartphones use lithium-ion batteries, which are efficient but not perfect. When your phone discharges power to run apps or recharges while plugged in, chemical reactions occur inside the battery. These reactions naturally generate heat. Charging, especially fast charging, can make your phone noticeably warmer because energy is moving into the battery at a rapid pace. You may have noticed that your phone gets warmer while charging and using it at the same time. That's because it's dealing with two sources of heat at once, the battery absorbing energy and the processor consuming energy. It's like trying to refuel a car while driving uphill. Everything is working overtime. Signal strength also plays a surprising role in phone heating. When you're in an area with poor reception, your phone has to work harder to stay connected to the network. It boosts its signal power, constantly searching for towers and trying to maintain a stable connection. This increased effort uses more energy, which turns into more heat. That's why phones often feel warmer in elevators, basements, rural areas, or while traveling. The same thing happens with GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. When these features are active, especially for long periods, your phone's internal components are constantly communicating with external devices and satellites. Each connection adds to the workload, and that workload generates heat. Software also plays a role, sometimes more than we realize. Poorly optimized apps can drain your phone's resources without you noticing. An app running in the background, constantly refreshing or accessing location data, can quietly push your processor and battery. Over time, that extra effort adds up, and the phone warms up even when you're not actively using it. Operating system updates can temporarily affect phone temperature as well. After a major update, your phone may run background processes like re-indexing files or optimizing apps. During this time, it might feel warmer than usual. This usually settles down after a day or two, but it can be surprising if you're not expecting it. 
Then there's the design of the phone itself. Modern smartphones are incredibly thin and compact. While this looks great and feels premium, it leaves little room for heat dissipation. Larger devices like laptops have fans and vents to move heat away from critical components. Phones don't, they rely on passive cooling, meaning heat spreads through the internal materials and escapes through the body of the phone. Environmental factors matter too. Using your phone under direct sunlight, inside a hot car, or in warm weather can raise its temperature quickly. Your phone already generates heat internally, and when the surrounding environment is hot, it becomes much harder for that heat to escape. This is why phones sometimes dim their screens or show temperature warnings when used in extreme conditions. Phone cases can also trap heat. Thick or poorly ventilated cases act like insulation, keeping warmth inside. While cases protect your phone from drops, they can sometimes make heating worse, especially during heavy use or charging. So is phone heating dangerous? In most cases, no. Phones are designed with safety systems that monitor temperature. If things get too hot, the phone will automatically slow down performance, reduce screen brightness, stop charging, or even shut down temporarily. These measures protect the battery and internal components from damage. However, frequent overheating can affect long-term battery health. High temperatures accelerate battery degradation, which can lead to shorter battery life over time. That's why manufacturers recommend avoiding extreme heat and using certified chargers. At the end of the day, phone heating is a side effect of powerful technology packed into a tiny space. Our phones do an incredible amount of work, streaming video, navigating cities, capturing high quality photos, and keeping us connected all day long. A little warmth is simply the cost of that convenience so the next time your phone feels warm in your hand, it's not a sign of rebellion or failure. It's just a reminder that beneath that smooth screen is a hardworking machine doing exactly what it was designed to do. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.